um hello everyone so here we shall solve the some more kct previous year questions on the chapter limits and derivatives so in the previous part of this chapter we had solved till the question number 3 so here we shall start from the question number 4 onwards so it is told that limit n tends to infinity 3 into 2 power n plus 1 minus 4 into 5 power n plus 1 by 5 power 2n plus 7 into 5 power n that is equal to how much <clears throat> so here we can write that is uh, limit n tends to infinity then so when n tends to infinity then 2 power n will also tend to infinity so this we can write limit n tends to infinity 6 uh 6 into 2 power n minus 4 into 5 so 20 into 5 power n by 5 into 2 power n plus 7 into 5 power n <coughs> So this we can write limit n tends to infinity, five into two power n minus two power n minus we can write twenty one into five power n minus so plus five power n divided by five power okay so it is in the infinity by infinity form okay <clears throat> minus 1 so it power n into 21 minus 1 into 2 power n into 7 Five power n So here, from here, we can take five power n as common. So this will be limit n tends to infinity six into two power n by five power n minus twenty divided by so will be five into two by five whole power n plus seven. So if n tends to infinity, then two uh, by five whole raised to n that will also tend to zero. limit this will tend to zero when n tends to infinity so therefore this will become zero so this will be minus 20 by 7 mm -hmm. so option a is the correct answer Okay then. Question five. Limit n tends to infinity. N into sine two pi by three n to cos two pi by three n. So sine theta cos theta is sine two theta by two. So this is limit n tends to zero. N into sine four pi by three n divided by two. Then this we can write it as sorry sorry limit n tends to infinity. 
the limit n tends to infinity and you can write sine 4 pi by 3 n divided by this 2 by n we can write 2 by n into we can write uh, so 2 pi by 3 so then it will change to 4 pi by 3 n and into 2 pi by 3 that will so let us take 4 pi by 3 n as some x <laughs> so then as n tends to infinity x will tend to 0 this will be limit x tends to 0 sin x by x <coughs> into 2 pi by 3 so this will be 2 pi by 3 so option a is the correct answer <coughs> So here when x tends to a, this we can write it as limit x tends, so here um, option a is the correct answer of it. But then here limit x tends to a root over a plus 2x minus root over 3x divided by <coughs> root over 3a plus x minus 2 root x. <coughs> This is root over 4x. So here if we put a, then it will be 10 to 0. So here we can, we can rationalize this. So this will be limit x tends to a root over a plus 2x minus 3x by root over 3a plus x minus 2 root x into we can multiply with <coughs> the conjugate yeah. this will be root over a plus 2x plus root over 3x divided by root over 3a plus x plus 2 root x but this is not there that is why we have to multiply it also so this is root over 3a plus x plus 2 root x <coughs> by root over a plus 2x plus root, root over 3x so then this will be limit x tends to a a plus 2x minus 3x divided by 3a plus x minus 4x so that <coughs> into root over 3a plus x plus 2 root x divided by root over a plus 2x plus root over 3x <coughs> so this will be a minus x by 3a minus 3 3a minus 3x limit x tends to a <coughs> then and this is root over 3a plus x plus 2 root x divided by root over a plus 2x plus root over 3x now here we can take 3 as common then a minus x will cancel out this will be 1 by 3 into root over 3 a root over 3a so this is 4a plus 2 root a by root over 3a plus root over 3a so this will be 1 by 3 into 2 root a plus 2 root a that is 4 root a divided by 2 root 3a so root a root a will cancel then 2 to the 4 so this is 2 by 3 root 3 so option d is the correct answer <coughs> Here it is told f dash x is sorry f of x is sin x sin square x by 1 plus cot x cos square x plus 1 plus tan x <coughs> and we have to find f dash pi by 4 
so here we can first convert into sine and cos this will be cos by sine this will be sine cube x by cos x plus sine x plus this is sine by cos so this will be cos cube x by sine x plus cos x this will be uh, sine square x plus cos square x plus sine x cos x sorry this will be minus here so this will be 1 minus sine x cos x or we can say it is 1 minus sine 2 x by 2 so this is f of x f of x so therefore f dash x will be minus half into 2 sin 2x so this is minus sin 2x so therefore f dash pi by 4 that will be equal to minus sin pi by 2 so that will be minus 1 <coughs> is f of x is this okay so this is minus half into 2 cos 2x sorry this is cos 2x cos 2x so this will be cos pi by 2 so that is 0 so option c is the correct answer <coughs> so this is we have been asked to find the limit extends to 0 x into 2 power x minus x by 1 minus cos x so this this we can write limit extends to 0 2 power x minus 1 2x by 1 plus cos x 1 minus cos x <coughs> so 1 minus cos x is 2 sin square x by 2 so this you can write limit x tends to 0 2 power x minus 1 by x to 1 by 2 sin square x by 2 why we can write x square So this will be log 2 and this will be 1 by limit x tends to 0 will be sin square x by 2 by x square by 4 but here we have 2 to 2 so here also into 2 we have to do so this will be 1 so this is 2 log 2 so option b is the correct answer <coughs> and in question number 9 it is told if f of x is equal to sin pi square bracket pi square x <coughs> plus cos minus pi square x then f dash x is how much where bracket pi square and bracket minus pi square are greatest integer function not greater than its value so pi square is approximately 9.9 .9 something <coughs> so this will be sin 9x plus cos minus 10x this is sin 9x plus cos 10x f of x is this now therefore f dash x that will be equal to 9 cos 9x minus 10 sin 10x so option c is the correct answer <coughs> and in question number 10 it is told limit x tends to 0 log base e1 plus x divided by 3 power x minus 1 so this we can write limit x tends to 0 log base e1 plus x by x divided by limit x tends to 0 3 power x minus 1 by x so this will be also 1 <coughs> and this will be also log 3 log base e3 so this will be 1 by log 3 base e so this is log e base 3 so option c is the correct answer then it is told if y equals to 1 plus x into 1 plus x square 
to 1 plus x power 4 then dy by dx at x equal to 1 is so then dy by dx that we can write this is <coughs> 1 plus x into uh, d by dx of this so this will be 1 plus x square into d by dx which is 4x cube plus 1 plus x power 4 into 2x then plus this is 1 plus x square into 1 plus x power 4 <coughs> so now therefore dy by dx at x equal to 1 so that will be 2 into this this will be 1 plus 2 then this will be 4 plus 1 plus 1 2 into 2 and plus 1 plus 1 2 into 1 plus 1 2 so this will be 2 into 2 for the 8 plus 4 plus 4 so this will be 12 to the 24 28 option b is the correct answer in question number 12 is told if the function f of x satisfies limit x tends to 1 f of x minus 2 by x square minus 1 that is equal to pi then limit x tends to 1 f of x that will be how much <coughs> So now it means therefore it should be in the 0 by 0 form it should be in 0 by 0 form so f of x so f of 1 should be equal to f of 1 should be equal to 2 so therefore I can say limit x tends to 1 f of x minus 2 that should be equal to 0 that means that limit x tends to 1 f of x that is equal to 2 option b is the correct answer <coughs> if the function defined by this then f dash 0 is how much so f dash x that will be equal to 100 x power 100 into x power 99 so this will be x power 99 plus this will be x power 98 plus dot dot this will be 2x so this will be x plus this is 1 so therefore f dash 0 that is equal to 1 <coughs> so option c is the correct answer then limit x tends to 0 1 minus x by 1 minus cos x by x square so 1 minus cos x can be written as uh, 2 sin square x by 2 so this is 2 sin square x by 2 and this is x square x square i can write as x square by 4 and then into 4 okay so this will be equal to so 2 by 4 I can take outside as half and this will be limit x tends to 0 this is sin x by 2 by sin by x by 2 the whole square so this will be 1 so this is half so option D is the correct answer <coughs> then if y is equal to f of x square plus 2 and f dash 3 that is equal to 5 then uh, dy by dx at x equal to 1 means that f dash 1 that is being asked so now dy by dx that is equal to f dash x square plus 2 into d by dx of x square plus 2 that means that dy by dx that will be equal to f dash this okay one okay so therefore dy by dx that is equal to 2x 2x into f dash x square plus 2 so now therefore dy by dx at x equal to 1 so that will be equal to 2 into f dash 1 square plus 2 that is 3 so f dash 3 is 5 so this is 2 into 5 that is 10 so option b is the correct answer <coughs> then if the function defined by this then g dash 0 is how much so g dash x is x power 199 plus x power 198 plus x power 197 plus x then 1 so therefore g dash 0 is g dash 0 is 1 so option c is the correct answer so number 17 is to limit x tends to 0 x e power x minus sin x by x so that is how much so this is limit x tends to 0 e power x minus limit x tends to 0 sin x by x 
So e power 0 is 1, 1 minus 1, that is equal to 0. So option C is the correct answer. Mm. The value of this, so limit theta tends to 0, so be 1 minus cos 4 theta by 1 minus cos 6 theta. So this we can write it as limit theta tends to 0, 1 minus cos 4 theta is 2 sin square 2 theta. Uh, then that divide by I can write 2 theta whole square into 2 theta whole square divide by this is uh, 2 cos square sorry 2 sin square 1 minus cos 6 theta is 2 sin square 3 theta divide by 3 theta whole square into 3 theta whole square so this 2 and 2 will cancel out this will be limit theta tends to 0 this will be 4 theta square by 9 theta square into limit theta tends to 0 sin 2 theta by 2 theta by this is limit theta tends to 0 sin 3 theta by 3 theta so it's whole square <clears throat> this is uh, this is 1 this is also 1 so the answer is 4 by 9 Option B is the correct answer. Then the value of the limit x tends to 0 mod x by x that is how much? <coughs> so here the limit h tends to 0 a mod of 0 minus h which is the left hand limit to we are doing by minus h so that is equal to minus 1 and the right hand limit that is limit h tends to 0 the mod of 0 plus h by plus h that is equal to 1 so it means that so left hand limit is not same as the right hand limit at x at x equal to 0 so limit the limit does not exist so the limit does not exist so option D is the correct answer. <coughs> then if bracket x represents the greatest integer function and f of x is equal to x minus bracket x minus cos x then f dash pi by 2 is how much? Okay, so then f of first is that x minus bracket x minus cortex so <clears throat> first you have to find So, we first we have to find Rf dash pi by 2 means the right hand derivative, the right hand derivative that is limit h tends to 0 f of pi by 2 plus h minus f of pi by 2 minus h by h. So, this will be limit h tends to 0 f of pi by 2 plus h that will be. <coughs> So only the fractional part minus pi by 2 minus cos pi by 2 okay cos pi by 2 is 0 
the greatest integer is the integral part of x pi by 2 plus h pi by 2 minus h so dash So f of x is actually the fractional part of x minus cos x. So f dash x that will be equal to d by dx of x minus bracket x minus cos x. So this will be 1 plus sin x. So therefore f dash pi by 2 that will be equal to 1 plus sin pi by 2 that is equal to 2. So option B is the correct answer. Then in question number 21 it is told summation r equals to 1 to n 2 r minus 1 that is equal to x then this is how much. Okay so therefore x is equal to what if I put 1 here this is 1 plus 2 2 to the 4 that is 3 then 5 then till 2 n minus 1 so it means the sum of all the odd terms so that is so it is in ap so it is n by 2 into first term plus last term which is 2 n so that is equal to n square so x is equal to n square so therefore limit n tends to infinity says so uh, 1 cube by x cube that is n so x square so this is actually equal to limit n tends to infinity that is to 1 by x square into 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus till n cube so this is limit n tends to infinity and 1 by n square is 1 by n square whole square that is 1 by n power 4 and this will be sum of the cubes that is n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square so this is <coughs> limit n tends to infinity n square into n square plus 2n plus 1 by 4n power 4 so n square and this will cancel out this will be n square so this I can write limit n tends to infinity into 1 by 4 into 1 plus 2 by n plus 1 by n square so if I put n equal to infinity here now this will be 1 by 4 so often c is the correct answer then and question number 22 we have we can say that it is a limit x tends to 0 tan x by root over 2x plus 4 minus 2 so this will be equal to how much so this is limit x tends to 0 I can say this is <coughs> so tan x is sin x so tan x by x we can write tan x by x this we can rationalize actually this we can write limit x tends to 0 tan x by root over 2x plus 4 minus 2 into root over 2x plus 4 plus 2 by root over 2x plus 4 plus 2 okay so this will be limit x tends to 0 tan x into root over 2x plus 4 plus 2 divided by this will be a, a plus b into a minus b which is a square minus b square so this is 2x so this will be limit x tends to 0 tan x by x into limit x tends to 0 root over 2x plus 4 plus 2 by 2 so now this will become 1 so 1 into if I put x equal to 0 here so this will be root over 4 that is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 4 by 2 that is 2 so 2 is the answer so option D is the correct answer question number 23 it is told the right hand and left hand limit of the function are respectively so x tends to 0 so limit x tends to 0 
f of minus h 0 minus h which is the left hand limit of the function at x equal to 0 that we have to find so this will be limit extends to 0 e power minus 1 by h minus 1 by e power 1 by h plus 1 or 1 by h So this will be this you can write limit x tends to 0 1 minus e power minus 1 by h 1 plus e power minus 1 by h if we multiply and divide both sides by e power minus 1 by h into e power minus 1 by h and by e power minus 1 by h. this if you do then we can, you will get this so when so when um, so this is h tends to 0 that we have to h tends to 0 so when h tends to 0 then 1 by h will tend to infinity and minus 1 by h will tend to minus infinity and e power minus infinity is tend to 0 So therefore, the left hand limit will be equal to limit h tends to 0, 1 minus e power minus 1 by h by 1 plus e power minus 1 by h, that is 1. And the right hand limit that we find, right hand limit that of the function at x equal to 0, that will be limit h tends to 0, f of 0 plus h. So that will be limit h tends to 0, e power 1 by h, Actually, this is minus h, so this minus h we have to write. Sorry, this is wrong. This will be minus h, h tends to 0, so this will be limit h tends to 0 e power minus 1 by h minus 1 by e power minus 1 by h minus plus 1 so if i so this will become 0 so this is minus 1 so left hand limit is minus 1 the right hand that will be e power 1 by h plus e power 1 by h minus 1 by e power 1 by h plus 1 so this so then here we can multiply and divide by e power minus 1 by h so then we will have limit h tends to 0 1 minus e power minus 1 by h by 1 plus e power minus 1 by h so this will become 0 this will become 0 this will be 1 so therefore right hand therefore the left hand limit is minus 1 and right hand limit is plus 1 so the limit does not exist but here the right hand limit is asked and the left hand limit is asked so right hand limit is 1 and left hand limit is minus 1 so the answer is 1 and minus 1 respectively 1 and minus 1 respectively so option a is the correct answer so hope you have understood all the steps of of the solutions of these 23 questions on the chapter limits and derivatives so if you are unable to understand any of the steps of the solution then please write us in the comments section and uh, uh, please install our sapiens education application where we shall upload some Im some important previous year kct questions which shall be helpful for your kct exam so thank you everyone here we shall end this um, if this a uh, video thank you bye